Hello everybody, this is Eastside Steve from Eastside Show SCP. Today we're going to have an SCP discussion about some of our favorite SCPs. The way SCP discussions work is basically, I give out a topic for a discussion and then you leave a comment in the comment section down below talking about said topic. So, what is your favorite SCP? While you are deciding, here are some of my favorite SCPs. One of my all-time favorites is SCP-1730. What happened to Site-13? All kinds of stuff happened in the story. There's political intrigue both internal and external. There's a bunch of creatures, some of which are mentioned from earlier stuff. I mean, heck, even Bobble the Clown makes an appearance, and he's one of my favorites as well. I mean, first they send in the mole rats to take care of the situation, then they have to send in their elite forces in to help deal with it, and then you learn all this crazy stuff that happens along the way. It's a really good SCP, and it's one of my all-time favorites. The next one, which is my first all-time favorite, is SCP-093, the Red Sea Object. A red disc, when placed on a mirror, sends you into an alternate world where all these creatures come and basically absorb everybody they touch, the unclean, and the adventures between the SCP Foundation members and the stuff that they find within it. This SCP will always stick with me. It has classic horror, it leaves you with a lot of mysteries, and there's also a lot of SCP tales that are connected with this that kind of give more information about this world and when the inhabitants and everything is going on with it. SCP-1762 Where the Dragons Went I really love this SCP as well. It's not a world ender, it's not going to destroy the planet if X happens, it's actually a really sad story about a bunch of dragons and such, and the world that they live in, where people's lack of imagination is actually causing their destruction. And I love how there's actually an addendum to this where I haven't read it yet, but it goes into great detail about all these creatures that live within this magical land inside the cardboard box and all that. It's actually really well done, and I need to go back someday and reread the whole thing, just to give a further picture of it, you know? Here is a more modern classic, SCP-3008 IKEA, or Infinite IKEA, however you want to call it. It has a really long name to it, that's why everybody shortens it down so it's easier to understand. But anyways, this is a really good classic SCP. You ever walked inside of an IKEA and you get instantly lost? Well, this SCP is entirely about the concept of getting lost in an IKEA then getting stuck inside of a bunch of faceless IKEA employees who want to kill you after dark. Very well written, very fun, and there's a lot of stuff that can happen with it. Uh, the last one I wanted to pick out is SCP-087, the stairwell. This SCP preys on your primal fears of the darkness and basement staircases and all that, but imagine an infinite staircase with something down at the bottom. I really like the exploration sections with the D-Class as well. It kind of gives a lot more detail about what's going on, but it leaves a mystery as to what exactly is going on, or why this staircase exists at all. Now that i got some of my favorites out of the way, the question is, what is your favorite SCP? Leave a comment down in the comment section below and tell us why you like a certain SCP. Also, if you have suggestions for future topics, please leave a comment down below as well and we'll see what we can do about that. Anyways, this is Eastside Steve with Eastside Show SCP and I'm signing off, so have a good one everybody. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the latest videos, and also be sure to check me out on Facebook and Twitter and also my Patreon. Have a good day everybody.